again, Liz Loren from Laura Muse Style House, and welcome to another episode of Life of a Muse. Today, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about why I do what I do, how I started, and some of my favorite things, favorite designers, um, favorite stylists, so on and so forth. So, let's get to it. I am originally from Miami, Florida. Um, I actually still live here in Miami, Florida, born and raised um, on North Side, 2998, and now I currently reside in Miami Gardens. Okay, so Lauren is actually my middle name, Lauren, with an asterisk in the middle, um, and Muse, as you know, is anything that is an inspiration um, in art, um, anything that makes you feel something. And so I was like, okay, what can the name of this business be? Like, what is going to be really catchy, but something that can last for like decades, you know what I'm saying? And I was actually speaking to my cousin Brandy, and she's really good with like helping figure out like really really good names for stuff and so she was like well what about Muse and I was like yeah and I was like Laura Muse, Lorenz Muse. I was like okay that'll work. It originally was Laura Muse styling firm. My uh, vision for it was for it to be like a law firm but for stylists so I wanted to have like these stylists under me or whatever but when I started to think of the bigger picture I'm like okay when I think of fashion, I think of style houses, very famous style houses, um, fashion houses. And so that's how I came with the name Lauren Muse Style House. Um, nobody really inspired me to become a stylist. Um, it was just something I was always good at. Um, I like to pe see people look good and feel good with what they have on and if I know that I can be like the tool to get you there then that's what I wanted to do um, so when I first started it really was just like a labor of love it wasn't something like oh I saw this person like I really want to do that it was really just something I was good at like if you let my family tell it I've been doing it since I was you know yay high going in a draw changing three or four outfits a day so you know um that's pretty much where it originated from but i wouldn't necessarily say that it was somebody i looked at and i was like oh my gosh i want to do that when i grow up it was just something i was good at i have a favorite stylist now i want to say my favorite stylist now has to probably be La Roche, um, Luxury Law on Instagram, but he's worked with like some amazing people and to see where he started and where he is now, it's just like everything. Um, he's worked with Zendaya, he has worked with Celine Dion, um, now Tiffany Haddish, um, before those came Michelle, I believe. So he's really worked his way up the ladder and to see a black man be able to do that in this industry is just like really, really dope to me. <sighs> the only advice that I can give you is to learn your craft. Um, yes, doing things hands on is always, you know, a good thing. But there's nothing wrong with picking up a book. Um, there's a book that my business manager purchased for me a while ago um, called 100 Years of Fashion. Amazing, okay? Information in there that I would have never known or things that I did know but didn't know the name for and now I can identify them. So know your craft. Invest in yourself even when nobody else seems to care about what you're doing. Um, you care enough to invest in yourself and then you'll see people start to come around and be like, okay, they're taking this serious and then they'll invest in you. Um, I will also say 
don't give up like it's not gonna be easy i would be a liar if i said oh just do this this and that there is no way to get into this industry to break out in this industry um there's no blueprint but you find your niche you figure out what you're good at and what authentically comes out of you and keep going like don't let somebody else's no deter you from what your dreams are like keep going Um, yeah, probably my mom, but a thing, um, I don't know, this is a tough one. My phone, maybe, I would die probably without my phone, I wouldn't be able to speak to anybody. And there it is. Right, somebody's calling back. <laughs> okay um so i definitely probably wouldn't be able to do that i'm gonna go with two i'm gonna go with coco chanel and elsa chiaparelli um she does not get as much recognition as she should but like the art that she combined with her clothing is like like who thinks of that who thinks of those things and so everybody knows Chanel you know is probably one of the most famous designers ever who's ever lived but Elsa is super underrated I'll just say that <laughs> super super underrated you have super super classy chic timeless and then you have Elsa with quirky fun funky but any age mm. and so it's like yeah and I think they were actually rivals um, coming up but yeah those are my two favorites The Lauren Muse collection officially launches next year, February 2019, and I am so excited. It's been a long time coming, y'all. February um, is the month that I was born, oh. February 1st. Um, it's also the month for lovers, and it is also the month that my nephew was born, so it has a lot of super sentimental value um but i'm super excited about it it's oh my god when i tell you stress <laughs> is not the word like i thought this thing was gonna be a piece of cake for me i know what i'm doing whoop -de -whoop. no okay i'm talking about thousands of dollars on samples that most of the time don't even make the cut okay uh you see that and then you see something better better material that you want to use for that design or you scratch the design completely whatever but it's like a lot of blood sweat and tears that goes into it so i'm super excited and i know you guys are gonna love it. you guys should look for um super classic pieces um I'm a pants girl, so I love trousers, um, wide leg pants, long blouses, um, anything collared. I love structured clothing, A-line um, dresses, so that's what you'll be getting. It was like pretty much inspired by my mom's style. Rihanna. Rihanna. She is Rihanna. the epitome of what style is. Like she can literally throw a rag on and she's gonna look good. Um, and it's just, she has it. Like I would love to work with her because I know that she'll allow me to put something on her and I'll be like, oh, I can't wear this because she has the confidence to do it. So I would love to work with her. I learned a long time.
time ago that you can look like crap. But if you're confident in what you have on, no makeup on, hair not done, makeup on, hair done, um, a gown, sweatpants, whatever. If you are confident in what you're wearing when you walk into the room, you're going to turn in. I never leave the house without that because if I leave the house not feeling confident in what I'm wearing, I cannot be productive. I can't look someone in the eye. I can't shake their hand. Um, you know, it's just, it's a lot that goes into that. So if I would say one thing I cannot leave the house without, it's my confidence. It definitely can be taught. Um, just like pretty much having a life coach that teaches you what self-awareness and self-love is. Um, that's what I want to do with my clients, you know. Um, I want them to feel like I'm family, you know. And they're able to talk to me about stuff. I used to have like the lowest self-esteem, okay. And so, I want to instill in other people that you are good enough. With whatever you have, you are good enough. More than good enough. And so, yeah, confidence can be taught. Even if you got to beat it into their head. Because some people ain't going to get it right away. But if you love on them long enough, affirm them long enough, then they'll have to start to believe who they are. I know that I didn't really gained the confidence that I had until I really got into a relationship with the Lord. And he assured me of who I was, what my worth was, you know, outside of just how I look, you know, and it came from within me. And so like, like I said, even on my worst day, put your best girl against me and I'm still going to be like, oh, I consider style, an expression of who you are on the inside being displayed on the outside. Um, and a unique pattern that is written in your veins, that comes in your DNA, um, that is like nobody else that you see. That's style to me. Um, style has nothing to do with trends. It has nothing to do with um, designer labels because you can have on a $5 shirt, but if it's your style and you have the confidence in it, you'll look probably 10 times better than somebody who has on a $1,000 shirt. So that's what style is to me. Just simply knowing who you are, what looks good on you, what compliments you, and rocking with it. All right, guys, so again, Thank you for tuning in to Life of a Muse with me, Liz Loren from Lauren Muse Style House. Love you guys. See you next time. Bye.